I've got mad design skills, and so can you. This episode of The Infinite Thinking Machine is sponsored by Q, the K-12 High-Speed Network, and the San Francisco School of Digital Filmmaking. Woohoo! Today, just about anyone can make just about anything. Your own cardboard prom dress, your own wobbling robot, and even their own super awesome internet TV show. Boom. A lot of this is part of the larger do-it-yourself movement, which leverages principles found in design thinking. Now that's just a fancy term for the methods and processes designers use to create products. Organizations like IDEO, the K-12 lab at Stanford's D School, and Make Media are helping bring these ideas into classrooms around the world, teaching students how to creatively solve real-world problems through prototyping and iteration. Iterate. Iterate. <laughs> Iterate. Sounds fun, right? So let's drill into the details. HowToons is an educational, entertaining, beautifully illustrated adventure comic strip for kids. A HowToon integrates instructions seamlessly into the storytelling, teaching kids how to make toys and projects out of household objects. Kids are introduced to the science and engineering behind the projects. Man, that was the easiest script we never wrote. There's HowToons on building a hovercraft, creating a marshmallow shooter, building a zoetrope with CD and some chapstick. There's even an art project for building cool pneumatic air-powered muscles. We love how they combine literacy, comics, and science into one package. It's a fantastic, easy way for kids of all ages to get started as designers. Brightworks is a new school that explicitly uses design thinking to allow students to explore ideas and pursue their own interests around specific curriculum themes. Located in a revamped warehouse in San Francisco, the learning spaces are constantly shifting around students' projects and needs. On any given day, you might find students building their own kid city, creating their own monetary system, or building and testing out human wings as they study motion. Brought to life by Gever Tully, the school is modeled after years of working with kids at his famous tinkering school, a summer program where kids use power tools to design and build everything from their own boats to wooden roller coasters. Less than a year old, Brightworks is already redefining what schools look like, and you can follow their every move on their daily photo blog. Not quite ready to jump into design thinking as a whole school? Then try starting your own makerspace. Developed by the folks at Make Media, they have provided great documentation to help any school turn those 20th century computer labs into modern design labs. The Makerspace Playbook and its companion guide on tools and materials is a complete toolkit to help you design the space, select your tools, and it even has guidelines for instruction. But don't throw out all the tech. With just a few laptops and some 3D printers, you'll have a totally modern fabrication lab where you can imagine, design, and fabricate anything you can dream up. It's just one step closer to the ultimate classroom, the Star Trek holodeck. To learn more, we decided to roll up our sleeves and join in the fun at the largest DIY event in the world, Maker's Fair. Welcome to the 2012 Maker Fair, the greatest show and tell on earth. I'm Betsy Corcoran of EdSurge, and we're here in the do-it-yourself learning pavilion where we're reinventing school. How would you reinvent school? What do you want to do in school? How do you want to learn? That's what's going on here. Everyone is talking about different ways to think about learning, different ways to use technology to inspire creativity and to inspire thinking. Join us.
Have you reinvented your classroom yet? Thank you so much for joining us at what's been a great experience in learning, inventing, and thinking, and come back. I know what you're thinking. Yeah, yeah, we can never do this redonkulous stuff in my school. Chris Fitzgerald Walsh disagrees. Everywhere I go, I hear, yeah, buts. Yeah, but you can't do this stuff with my kids. Yeah, but we don't have any money for all that equipment. Or yeah, but does it increase test scores? Don't let the yeah, but stop you. Listen to the advice of Coach Wooden when he says, the most important key to achieving great success is to decide upon your goal and launch. Get started, take action, move. That's what we did at my local elementary school last year with Waddle, the Walnut Acres Design Lab. We knew we wanted kids to start using design thinking, so after a trip to the Nueva iLab, we just jumped right in. We're still figuring it all out, but that's how it should be, right? Iterate, iterate, iterate. So my hack is simple. Stop making excuses and make it happen. It doesn't matter how you start, just start. Dude, Chris, can you get off your soapbox for a second? And let's give everyone a real design challenge. Did you say design challenge? I did. You're a genius. No it's kind of like uh, an open ideal. I love that. But I love I love that website where you help solve real world problems through human centered designs that get iterated over and over and over again with the help of a global online community. That kind of design challenge. You're such an ideal fanboy. It's kind of true. How about we get started with something just a little simpler? What'd you have in mind? I was thinking for the first time, we can ask teachers and students to create a cool infographic on how to spend the ultimate summer vacation. Hmm. Imagine that money is no object and the summer activities are massively creative, massively fun, and massively brain tingling. <laughs> I like it, I like it a lot. All right, so you heard the man. Find a cool way to express a great original infographic, post it online, and send the link to our Twitter account by June 6, 2012. Then our special guest judges will announce the winners in various categories on our next show. And the winners just might see the FedEx truck pulling up to their school with some cool ITM swag before school is out. So put on your thinking caps and get designing. Designing? Dude, how many times do I have to talk about this segment? It's hacked. Ever. It's not Junior. designed, Ed. It's hacked, Ed. Whatever. Get hacked. Get hacking. Talent. Okay, it's quitting time for us but feel free to start doing some tinkering on your own. Check out the online show notes at infinitethinking.org for some additional ideas on how to get started with all this design thinking stuff, as well as links to everything featured in this episode. And if you think of something else we should add to the list, ping us on Twitter to share your thoughts. Now where'd I put that jackhammer? I am the infinite thinking machine. I am the infinite thinking machine. We are the infinite thinking machine.